I've been asked many times, how do you get over your ex? And I think that the best way to get over exes and how to get over heartbreak is to not allow yourself to let that question run your life. Because when you focus on getting over somebody who isn't you, you're focused on them. What helped me get over my guilt for leaving my husband and what helped me get over my ex who was from the freaking past <laughs> was acknowledging and accepting the truth of where I was. And the truth is my first little lover will probably be a permanent heartbreak and that is okay. And it doesn't make sense to focus on trying to get over him because I might not ever. So if I keep thinking about trying to get over him, I'm going to be lost in that. What I did was shift my focus to what am I really trying to accomplish? And that was, I was trying to get into myself. I was trying to remember who I was. I was trying to find myself and instead of focusing on my ex-husband and focusing on my first ever ex, I just was like, this isn't working. Trying to get over them, trying to get over guilt isn't working. What was and what did start working for me was dating myself and treating myself like my partner. I would pay attention to what bothered me. I would pay attention to what got on my nerves. I took power in realizing because I'm now fully single for the first time in my life, I don't have to consider anybody else but me. I live alone for the first time in my life. I don't have roommates. I don't have um, anybody else that I'm responsible for. So I was able to wake up every day and ask, what does India want to do today? What does India want today? And that was like something I never thought about before. And at first it was like anxiety inducing because I'm like, I don't know. Uh, then it spiraled into like, I don't know what I like. I don't know what I don't like. I don't know what makes me happy. I don't know what I want to do to take care of myself. So I got out my journal and I started answering those questions and paying attention to things that make me happy. I started to notice what I like and don't like and I would write it down. I started to really treat myself like I was trying to get to know a stranger because I felt like a stranger. I, don't, I didn't know who I was all the way. And what helped me, if you're on a journey of, you know, you're fresh out of a relationship or a marriage and you're trying to find yourself again, I would recommend going to like Target and finding like journals that have prompts in it. Um, it'll guide you to answer questions that you may have never asked anyone or yourself. So I started getting journals like that that had like questions in it so that I could start getting to know myself. Um, I mentioned it already in another video, but um, the Homecoming podcast by Dr. Thema, she talks about, she literally guides you in each episode how to find yourself. And that tremendously changed my life a lot. Um, I also would recommend getting the game We're Not Really Strangers because it's meant to be played with a stranger or somebody you want to get to know. But I started to play it by myself and answer the questions in my journal. And I got to know a lot of things about myself because I never thought about me. And it has been very life-changing and powerful to really think about me every single day. And that 
is how I would say you get over your ex or anyone you lost that you loved is to just allow yourself to feel your feelings every day. If I remembered one of them or I let guilt or guilt creeped in, I would let myself be sad or feel guilty, but I wouldn't let it run my day. I'd be like, I would acknowledge and accept I'm sad, but then I would take action and decide what does India want to do about this feeling that came up. And nine times out of 10, I would get ice cream or I would go on a walk or I would dance or I would listen to music that helped me get in a better mood. But I also would allow myself to listen to sad songs when I was sad because it helped me feel seen and understood that somebody else has been in this place before. So I'm not alone and I'm not crazy. And then after I would have that moment, I would watch like a funny movie that had nothing to do with love. Or I would watch a, a show from my childhood or something to just get me back in spirits. And I would always feed myself something that I loved, like pizza or tacos. Um, but I didn't allow myself to get into the bad habit of drinking or, you know, taking on some other substance to like drown the pain. Um, so I just would really recommend that you just get into yourself. Getting over somebody else. I heard, I heard this before that they say, to get over somebody else, you need to get under someone else. And I agree with that only if that somebody else is yourself. So that's my advice to anyone wondering how you would get over your ex.